Whether you're looking to buy a new Pixel 7 Pro or you already own one, chances are some of these amazing tips and tricks we're about to go through are going to be very, very useful to you. This is the Pixel 7 Pro and we're going to be going through some fantastic tips and tricks that you need to know about. Let's start by making the device yours. To begin, you need to familiarize yourself with the settings menu. To do this, drop down or drag down the quick settings drawer at the top, go into settings right at the bottom corner and then you have loads of options available. Let's get into display. In display settings, you can adjust your brightness level, you can turn on adaptive brightness, but what's really cool here is you can go down, tug along dark theme. This way, it can either affect your vision in terms of seeing things better on the screen, or some people just like it for preference. I personally have to tug at it on, and I prefer dark mode. Next, we want to change the screen resolution, because by default, Google doesn't give you the full screen resolution to save battery life. This is not to say when you crank it up, you're going to be losing battery life, it just means you're going to be maximizing the display settings. So scroll down on the same display settings, go to screen resolution and bump this up all the way to full resolution, which is 1440p Quad HD Plus display. This way things look a bit sharper when you take pictures, when you look at videos, when you play games, things just look so much better. Swipe to go back to the display settings and then there's more. If it's not turned on by default, you have smooth display. This allows the display to go from 60 hertz all the way to 120 hertz refresh. So when gaming, for example, things look so much smoother when browsing the web. Next, we wanna change the app grid size. What this means is if we go back to the home screen, you see that some of the icons look very big. You might wanna be able to fit more if you want to. For example, saves just browsing around trying to search for apps. So to do this, we go back into that settings option and then we go back to display, scroll down to display size and text. And underneath here, we can firstly change the text size if you want things to look a bit smaller. Sometimes I turn mine all the way down because my vision allows me to see better when the text is smaller. Weird, I know. We go back out and then we go into wallpaper and style. So if we tap wallpaper and style, this will give you some option here. So here you can change things like your wallpaper and theme, color theme for the whole system. But what I really want to show you guys is the app grid. So if we go down, we go to app grid and here we can change it to make it as small as we want it to be. So sometimes, Usually I have mine on five by five. That way things are smaller and I can fit more on the home screen. Tap apply to apply settings. And now we have our smaller icons, but it also unlocks your recently used apps as well. So now when you look at the bottom right of the screen, you're able to see the latest apps or the last app that you opened. So for example, I got file app. That's the last app that I opened. So if I was to open say YouTube and then I come out of YouTube, now the last used app is now the YouTube icon. Next, we have another cool modification, which is the quick settings drawer. Here, the first time you drag it down, it gives you four important settings that you've set. You drag down a little bit more, it gives you another four. But what you can actually do is rearrange this and change what's been displayed. So for example, if you don't use things like do not disturb, you can remove that, change it to something else that you like. To do that, we can just do tap on the little pencil and we get into more settings here. So we can go up and down and see what else is available. So we can move things around. So what you have to do is just press and hold things. So if you do camera access, press and hold it. We drag it all the way to the top where we want it. So just underneath internet, for example. So now that's different. So you can even move that around as well if you like, but that will give you the option there. So now that we go back to the main screen, camera access, will always be there to quickly access it. Next, we have smart storage. And we've all been there when we've run out of memory or storage space on our phones. But with this, what Google has done is allow you to move things that you're not, you haven't used in the last 60 days, for example, they'll move it to a cloud storage. That way you save space on your local storage on your smartphone. So if we swipe up on the home screen and we go into the file menu. So look for the file app. It's right there at the top. And here we have the option for smart storage so you can toggle that on so things can get moved over so media automatically deleted uh, will be available in your google photos in your chosen quality so click ok and then here we can also save our settings for safety folder so all safe folder here it means that anything that's in there will be nice and secured and locked and no one can access them so you can put your documents in there for example next let's talk about gestures with gestures it just means that you can access functions and features faster than you normally would. Let's get into settings to do this. So swipe down again, go into settings. What you can then do here is another tip for you. Instead of trying to find gesture settings, which is normally in the system settings, what we can do here is actually search from the top. 
So you can search for settings, do gestures like I did before. You can also clear the history as well. It will flash to let you know that it's in here and then you remember for next time, tap gestures and then you've got so many options available. We can go all the way down to the bottom and we have things like flipped shh. With flipped shush, it means that when your phone's ringing or anything like that, you can just flip your phone and you'll go quiet. That way, just nice and quickly, just quieten things. Maybe in a meeting, it goes off on loud, you forgot to turn it off, you can just flip the phone and you'll silence the phone. You also have an option for quick tap to start actions. This is an extra button, essentially, by tapping the back of your phone. So if you go into that, we can flip that on and we can allow it to do different things like take a screenshot, access the digital assistant, play a post media, show a recent app, and so on. So for example, I can set that to play a post media. And what's also good about this is you can require stronger taps. So with this, you're not gonna be accidentally tapping it. I had this on my iPhone and accidental tap on that was too much. I had to turn it off. But with this, because it's stronger, it just means you won't be accidentally tapping it. Back to gestures, you also have an option for selfie camera. So if we tap that, toggle it on, it just means when you quickly flip your phone, you'll be able to access your selfie camera very quickly. So those are some cool functions that you can do with gestures. There are other options on there as well to play with, so have a look and see which one suits your preference. Another cool feature is now playing. It just means when music is playing around you, your phone will tell you what the song is, what the artist is. So it'd be like Shazam, but it's always on, constantly listening without burning your battery. And it can be a really cool feature. When your friends are wondering what music are playing, you can be really quick to say, so-and-so are playing, and you sound smarter than they think you are. To turn this on, what we'll do again is go into settings, search for now playing up top. Tap that and we can toggle it on. It will show you via notifications, it will show you the search button on lock screen as well, so which is really good. So you can toggle that on and you can also see the music that's played. You can check the history, so if you ever forget the last one, it's always keeping the history of all the songs that's been identified. Okay, one more thing in gestures. You can also allow the power button to go back to how it was. So at the moment, you have to press it and another combination to power off your device, or you have to drag down the settings, draw again and click power off. What you can actually do is in gestures, go into press and hold power button settings and you can toggle off hold for assistant. So when you do this, now when you press the power button on the side like so, you can just power it off and it's much quicker. Another cool feature is battery share. This is more of a cool feature rather than tip and a trick. So, but I guess the tip and trick here is if you have a pair of AirPods that you want to charge wirelessly, for example, or you want to charge another smartphone, you can use battery share, meaning you can use your Pixel 7 Pro to charge other devices wirelessly. And to do this, you go to your battery settings, you go into battery share and just toggle it on. And this will remain on for a little bit to make sure that there's a phone or device charging. And if there isn't, it will just turn it off. What's also cool about this though is, whilst you have it plugged in directly into power, it will automatically switch it on as well. So you don't have to go to that settings every time. So when it's automatically switched on, it waits again to make sure something's been charged. And if there's nothing, it will turn it off automatically. We also have some more cool features available in camera. So launch your camera and then I'll talk you through that as well. First thing we have on blur. So for example, this is a photo I took earlier. What we can do is edit it. Once you go into edit, it gives you so many different options to do with that particular photo. If we go to on blur, so the phone will analyze the photo and we can adjust the background blur on the photo. This is probably not a great example, but you'll be able to adjust how strong the blur is in the background of the photo that you've taken. Another great tool is Magic Eraser, and this is fantastic. With this, you'll be able to remove objects or people from photos that you don't want them in. For example, this one I've taken here, is my glasses on the table. And if I don't want the glasses on the table, I should be able to remove it. So we load up the picture, we go to edit, wait for the phone to analyze the picture. From there, we can scroll across to the bottom to tools. And we have the option for portrait blur, magic eraser on blur and so on. So if we click magic eraser, it will find suggestions in your photo. In this case, throw out that many suggestion here, just my glasses. So we can just draw a circle around it and let the camera do his thing, like so, like magic, magic eraser. So now the glasses has gone on that table and it looks amazing. Okay, one bonus feature that you should know about. When you go into your settings, scroll down to digital wellbeing and parental controls and go into bedtime mode. With this, the phone can actually monitor your snore and cough as well throughout the night. So it'll be able to give you how well you slept as well as how many times you snored, how many times you coughed. So. If you've updated your Pixel 7 Pro, you'll be able to see that in your bedtime mode settings. So you can see that there, nothing's been recorded at the moment. So you have cough and snore information. 
which is pretty cool. You don't have to wear any expert, uh, extra devices or anything. You just have to have your smartphone on charge next to you and it will use motions and sensor and microphone to monitor things and record them. Okay, so there you have it with some amazing tips and tricks and features on the Pixel 7 Pro. There are so many other things that we could go through as well, but those are our top suggestions and things that you should definitely check out. If you wanna find out more, make sure you stay tuned to this channel and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you want some amazing deals on the Pixel 7 Pro or the Pixel series, then check out the link in the description area. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.